Hi everyone, I'm Catherine and I work for RSPB here in Northern Ireland. Today we are at Portmore Lock Nature Reserve. We're going to talk about our breeding wader management and our species rich grassland management before we move down the road to the Munchies Moss where we're managing for marsh fertility butterfly and Irish stanza fly. Portmore and Munchies are part of the Loch Ney Lowlands and are located in the southeast shore of Loch Ney. So we've just arrived on our viewing platform here at Portmore Lock where you can see the lock in the background. This is an important feature for wintering wildfowl, particularly river swans that migrate here from Iceland to spend the winter here. You can also see a fairly recent addition to the reserve, this series of pool network. Um, this helps control water levels and retain water on site for our breeding waders during the summer. We also manage um, water through a series of sluice and drain networks. We also graze the site during the summertime and then cut rank rushes in the winter using machinery, particularly tractor and flail. When you get a chance to visit Portmore Lock in the future, you'll take a dander down our boardwalk. When you look up into the woodland, you'll see lots and lots of tree sparrow boxes. Tree sparrows are in decline across the UK, but Loch Ness seems to be a real stronghold for the species. So we like to give them a little extra helping hand here and provide nesting habitat for them to use. During the winter, tree sparrows will forage on our cereal plot, which we sow every year to provide extra food for our birds. Portmore Lock is a very important place for breeding waders. The team here go to great efforts to make sure that we've got the correct nesting habitat and feeding habitat for chicks. And also we have a predator exclusion fence to give extra protection from foxes and badgers. Lapwing here at Portmore Lock like to nest in short grassland. So we use a mixture of cattle grazing in early spring. And then in the winter, we use specialist ground cutting equipment to control rank rushes. Portmore Lock is surrounded by a naturally occurring reed bed, which is a perfect home for reed buntings, reed warblers, sedge warblers, and breeding ducks. So we've just arrived at Munchies Moss SAC, which is just over two miles from Portmore Lock Nature Reserve. Here we're managing for marsh fertility, Irish damselfly, and a number of important plants. RSPB have managed Munchies Moss now for four years through a European funding programme called Interreg, which is supported by the SEUPB. We've reinstated grazing to provide adequate habitat for marsh fertility. We have removed 11 hectares of scrub, which has been impacting on the features of the site. And we've also created a thousand square metres of open water to benefit Irish damselfly. Peat was historically extracted from this site and would have been transported throughout Northern Ireland using small boats on the Navi Drain. The Navi Drain is connected to Loch Ney and Portmore Loch. We've been working for the last four years to restore this wet meadow behind us and turn it into a species rich grassland. When we arrived on the site, the fast growing grasses had gotten so tall that they were shading out the nice delicate flowers underneath. By grazing the site with cattle allows us to eat off all the rank grasses and allow light to germinate the more delicate flowers below. In here you'll find meadowsweet, forget-me-nots, and spearwort. Not only is a species-rich grassland important for biodiversity and our pollinators, it is also valuable as a carbon store and this will help us combat climate change. Munchies Moss is a former lowland raised bog with a history of heavy peat extraction across the site. Previously, the peat would have been up here before it has been extracted right below the water table. A method called puddling was used where they would mix peat like liquid chocolate before throwing it on the bank and drying it. As a result, lots and lots of peat ditches and pools have been left. This is a valuable habitat. Since peat cutting has stopped on the site, the pools have become choked with vegetation, 
which is not ideal, RSPB have decided to remove some of the vegetation and create areas of open water to allow the species to flourish. Over time, we expect these pools to become choked with vegetation again before commencing the cycle all over again. As we all know, getting out to experience nature and the outdoors is important for our health and mental well-being. RSPB have big plans to welcome you to the site in the near future. We are installing a 500 metre boardwalk and an off-road car park so that you guys can come and get up close to nature.